Two years ago, it was me at my dining room table figuring out how are we going to light up customers here in Westminster. And, and as you can see by where we are, we're not at my dining room table anymore. You know, this space and its name are up for debate. Sometimes we call it the demo space, sometimes we call it the experience space, but it all translates into we have a place that's open to the public to come in and see what our product is like. So we offer the symmetrical gigabit and then the 10 by 10 product. So we've got TVs and PlayStations and all different kinds of cut the cord type products and things that consume lots of bandwidth all running on the same connection so that people can try on their outfit before they buy it. When I was first interviewed for the job, Val sat me down and she was like, I just need a lot of help here. Um, I'm one person running the internet, trying to open a makerspace trying to open a retail space and she was asking me questions but I just kept looking around at all the pieces of equipment and I'm like wow that's gonna be my job to get in there and play with all the equipment I would love to do something like that I have uh, my technical counterpart is our install manager Ryan Turner um, he comes to us with a great background in telecom installation how I learned about Ting in Westminster is kind of an interesting story um, I actually went to the CEO before the fiber was lit at all and installed a modem for or a backup. I was just impressed with the way the CO was laid out with the fiber technology and wanted to get more experience and eyes on that. And he has two install technicians working with him. So we've got three people on the install side of the house. And working with me are our marketing coordinator and our makerspace specialist. So we've got someone who keeps the makerspace open during open hours, helps you get acquainted with what's happening over there. Um, and Patrick here in the um, in the experience space will help you try on the gig and see what that feels like. What excites me about Ting is the way the company carries itself. I love the way there's a friendly demeanor between coworkers. I love the way that we talk to the people we provide services to, not at them, more uh, with them in a conversational manner. I've had several local business owners who've been to the Ting office and the Ting makerspace. They go, oh God, that's the kind of office I want. It's so cool. You know, I got to talk to my landlord. You know, we had hoped to have the makerspace open a while ago. Uh, we needed staff. We needed insurance. We all believe the internet's a great tool for creation. Having gigabit speed internet just shows no boundaries, shows no limits to the amount of creation that you can have. So in the experience space, you know, you can see that visually and in here in the makerspace, you can experience it for as far as building things and using that tools for creation. So, you know, opening a business has its challenges, um, but I think we're in a pretty good place. Two years later, I'm not gonna say we're experts, I'm not gonna say we know it all, but we're really comfortable in our relationship with the city. So, true partnership, which is which is nice. Ting's here, and, and, and people see it, and generally people are very, very, very happy. <laughs> <laughs>